Hello friends, welcome to iExambi's law channel Legal B. Few days back, PFRD announced recruitment for Grade A post, and in that we had legal vacancies. I have already discussed the notification and the expected cutoffs. In this video, I am going to discuss the preparation strategy, and I will also share an eight-week study plan, following which you can prepare for PFRD legal exam well in time. First of all, let's look at the important dates. The online application form will start from 15th of September and will last up to 7th of October. Exam date is not yet out. It will be intimated later. There are a lot of upcoming exams for the law graduates. PFRD legal notification is out. It is right now an active notification. The phase 1 exam is expected in the month of November and phase 2 in the month of December. Then there is SEBI legal exam for which the notification is expected in the month of December, phase 1 in January and phase 2 in February. Also, IBPS SO law recruitment is soon going to come. Notification is expected in the month of November. The prelims exam is in December on 24th or 31st of December and the mains exam is in January. This Friday, I am coming on with a free e-seminar where I will be talking about these three exams how you can prepare for all these three exams together and I am going to guide you, I am going to answer all your queries with respect to these exams or any other upcoming law exams. If you are interested and you want to be a part of this e-seminar then fill the google form that is attached in the description below and let's meet on Friday 16th of September. Going through the eligibility criteria, you need a bachelor degree in law, no experience is required and the maximum age limit is 30 years as on 31st July 2022. Then the mode of selection includes three phases. Phase 1 is your online screening having two papers. Phase 2 again will have two papers of 100 marks each and phase 3 is your interview similar to SEBI legal. In phase 1, there will be two papers. Paper 1 will be English, Quant, Reasoning, General Awareness. There will be 20 questions in each section and each section will be of 25 marks. Paper 2 is your law having MCQs, 50 questions of 100 marks. Then in phase 2, again, there will be two papers. Paper 1 is Descriptive English and Paper 2 is your law MCQ based. The syllabus is also given in the notification. These are all the apps that will come in your paper too. We are expecting the phase 1 exam in the month of November, probably by the first or the second week of November. So you have around 8 weeks in hand. Keeping this in mind, we also have to remember that there are two papers. Paper 1 is your QRGA and paper 2 is your law. So moving on, I'll give you a study plan for both the papers which you can use to be prepared for this exam by the first week of November. We have launched PFRDA Grade A Legal Online course and at present we are running the biggest annual sale at iExambi. Big B days are live from 13th to 16th of September and at present we are giving a flat 57% off on all our online courses for PFRDA, for SEBI Legal, for, for IBPS SO Law and other exams as well. If you are interested in any of these courses, this is a very good time to get enrolled. A flat 57% off is an offer which comes annually during the big B days. Now coming to our preparation strategy. This study plan, this preparation strategy focuses both on phase 1 and phase 2, on paper 1 and paper 2 for both the phases. The time commitment for the next 8 weeks required is 8 to 10 hours on a daily basis. For the first 4 weeks, I am expecting that you devote 50-50 time to both the paper 1 and paper 2 and then you can increase the time devoted to paper 2 and reduce the time to be devoted to paper 1. You can download this study plan from the description below. At the end of each day, analyze your whole day work and also make the plans for the next day. Next day, first thing you have to spend one hour for revision of previous day's topics. Every Sunday, spend time on revision and attempting of mock test. Now, if you look at the study plan, you will see it is a week-wise study plan. Different topics are given which you have to focus in every week. In first week, you have to focus on shortcut tricks, simplification, approximation, search and indices in the quant section, then in reasoning, puzzles, input-output ranking, analytical reasoning in reasoning, tenses in English, economic banking and finance current affairs for the month of April and May. In paper 2, you have to study constitution of India, taxation. 
and on Sunday practice one essay. Then in the week two series quadratic equation for quant, coding decoding data sufficiency and coded inequality for reasoning for English parts of speech direct indirect speech. Then these are the topics that you have to study for GA. In law part, study the Companies Act, whatever chapters are mentioned in the syllabus, and on Sunday, practice one precy writing. Similarly, topics are given for week 3, week 4, week 5, week 6, week 7, and week 8. And I am hoping that by following the study plan, you will be able to cover your syllabus by the first week of November. Indeed, the time is less, so you need to use your time wisely. Prepare with full dedication and consistency. Prepare from concise study materials. Practice a lot of questions for your revision. This Legal B YouTube channel is a dedicated channel of I exam B, especially for law exams. This is your one stop solution for all legal exams. And we will really appreciate your support to take this channel forward. Therefore, subscribe to Legal B YouTube channel. I exam B helps you unfold your potential and make the best career for yourself you can drop your queries in the comment below you can also reach out to us at this number that is mentioned on the screen thank you